Gently snoring baby polar bears Nice and tidy give it away. This guitar can be yours for shipped. So for less of the price for shipping an actual acoustic guitar, and this is a nylon string classical style guitar, you can get it. And is it good? No, it's not a good guitar. It is flimsy. Usually when I grab guitars, it's a bad habit, but I always grab it by the hole, right? If you grab this by the hole, this is so thin, it's a matter of time before shit starts going wrong. I, I don't trust doing that with it. It is not a great guitar. It's the tuning is my biggest issue with it. It's held, it's held tuned so far. Oh, a few of them's gone out. It's mostly the nylon strings. The actual s steel strings, they stay in tune okay. It's the three nylons. So if you did want to buy this for a son, daughter, or just for messing around, what is the point? of getting a $2,000, $1,000 nylon guitar when you're only going to use it 1% of the time, usually when you're recording, right? You know, general, the people that watch my channel, general rock and metal. If you want somebody to dedicatedly play, you know, classical guitar and the rest of it, no, don't, don't get this. But if you have a studio and you want to do a, if you want to drop your pick, and you just want nylon strings, It's good. Let, let me tell you what's wrong with it first, and then I can get on to why I actually like it. And this is the honest truth. I, I do like it. The fretboard is kind of messed up. I think there's like a strip of plastic binding, and it actually raises above the fretboard in places. It's in places that are usually inaccessible anyway, where the, the big problem part is. But it's not great. This may be just a lemon that they sent me to review for them, because this is glary. Everything is super cheap. The tuners, super. The, the tuners aren't too bad. They, I, I've actually seen worse. I've seen thinner, like 
nickel or whatever thick metal they put on you and put a nickel coating on. These are actually thicker. There's not, it's not terrible. What's happening, the tuners aren't losing the tuning. It's the actual strings. I think they've gone for the cheapest cat gut. I don't know what it is. I, I'm not an expert with these type of guitars, but uh, I actually grew my fingernails for this review because I wanted to do it properly. And now I know what a pain in the ass it is to keep these fucking nails from snapping. I've snapped two of them so far. So I've got three good nails. Is that that's that's the uh, new uh, millennial uh, sign for uh, heavy metal? It's very inclusive because this finger was you know feeling left out. So we are, it's all about you know inclusive culture these days. Slightly gone out of tune already, but yeah. So the the the, the bad part. This is super thin. It's uh, it sounds. Let's get closer. Make sure I'm not overloading. It's out of tune. Yeah, that's that's it. See, it's there's these little issues that kind of keep bugging me about it. But once I get past that, I can tune quick by my ears. Well, the the reason that I don't it, it frustrates me just the three strings going out of tune is if you're a beginner, you know, you're buying somebody a cheap beginner guitar. Usually, you have to have somebody else to tune it for you when you begin. You know, it's it's kind of tough. Uh, you, a tuner is a must, but some people don't know how to retune us when they come into it. They don't even know what the E string is or the A string. So you have to have a guitar if you're if you're starting off that really does keep tune to a degree, you know? Because otherwise you're gonna form a chord. It's gonna sound wrong and you're gonna give up. You know what I mean? See it sounds good, dude. <laughs> Action is high. Uh, no, that's it. You know, it's it's a high action. So that doesn't bother me that much with beginner guitars because I started off on high action and it's kind of like a it's a double-edged sword where you forced if you really want to play guitar and you, you know you'll fight past it and you'll get stronger and better faster. But uh, a lot of the the big guys actually have high actions. Uh, I think Richie Sambora, people like that. It's not a great guitar, but the price is insane. And let, let's go about. The, the pluses of it, right? The pluses of it were, it takes up so little room. It's not a huge guitar, uh, you know, short profile. I don't know what, what the deal is, what, what the technical term for this size guitar is, because I'm not that big on nylon acoustics. But what I've noticed is if I'm watching TV, it's I can put it anywhere, which is like within reach. And it's not like a big, heavy, bulky guitar. It's something that you can grab, almost like a travel guitar. And I'm having fun, man. I'm having fun trying to learn how to do the... You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm practicing... Uh... I've always been able to do that a little bit because it's kind of the first thing I do when I pick up acoustics. It's kind of a cheat where I know two things with my fingers. And the rest of it is like, you know, useless. That has been huge in my everyday life because usually my acoustic is put on a nice stand somewhere and it's not usually within reach you know my good one but this is a fun it's a fun guitar to have around something you can take camping with you and you don't give a fuck you rest beers on it and that type of thing so there is there is a market for it worst case scenario i got a free guitar box out of it <laughs> but i i actually warmed to this thing but it's not a good guitar. Let's not think. I mean, because I've had some people buying things from Glary through me because they saw my bass demos. You can see the bass demos here. Those guitars are great, genuinely great. Not not price, not nothing. Tonally, structurally, sound, playability, they're great. 
There's a few little corners like, that they cut, like the, the nuts and things that I could change, but I have, I don't play bass enough often to really start putting bow nuts on and all the fancy stuff. But I do, I actually do, I probably should. But that, what, what I'm worried about is I love the tone of it. I genuinely love the tone. And if I change the bow nut, am I gonna change something subtle? You know what I mean? It's like a gestalt entity where all the parts kind of add up. So on this one, actually the nut isn't that bad on this one. Um, the toppy can, you get used to it, but it can like drag off the side of the fretboard a bit. So yeah, yeah, not a slam dunk with this one. I was kind of hoping that it was like everything you buy there is gonna be great. But what got me thinking now was if you go to Facebook and search Circle of Tone, we have a group, it's over a thousand strong, you know, share your music, tell us how you captured it, things like that. People have posted, you know, pictures of, oh, I bought this glary uh, strat for my daughter and I'm like, I haven't tried any of the strats. So I'm like, oh, I hope it's good, you know? So maybe I do need to test all the guitars to make sure that, you know, some of them might be get away and I wouldn't want people on my channel to actually buy something that isn't that good. This is fun and it, I think it reflects a bigger price. You know, I wouldn't be mad paying 50, 60 bucks for this, but 50 bucks. It's something now that I can use in my studio because if you have a studio and you have people coming in and to say doing jingles, right? Nylon guitars are huge when it comes to jingles. You know, the happy sounding. To have something in your studio is a tool. There's a specific, it's like a, it's like a whimsical sound when it comes to the nylon. And that's what I want it for. That's the reason I didn't, they said, you know, I'll send you another guitar if you review it for us. And I didn't select their electric heavy metal guitar or their strats because I got those coming out of my ears. So I collected this so it can be another tool in the studio. And yeah, I like it. Uh, should I change these three strings to see if so-called good quality cat get? Uh, is that even a thing? Um, I've never strung one of these up. So that's kind of daunting for me. I guess you've got to make certain types of you have to have a background in nautical knot construction because <laughs> that looks like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing with all this stuff. But it's, I think for the amount of time I'll use it, it's probably worth me keeping it like this because I actually like the sound of the nylon strings. It's obviously duller and a little bit more um, folky sounding than a, a nice ringy, bright, blowy bottom acoustic. You know what I mean? But yeah. Very cool, man. Very cool. And not cool at the same time, because I don't want to say, oh, this is a good guitar. It's not a good guitar. It is a cheap guitar that is has a purpose. So that's it. I hope that was okay, because I'm kind of, I don't have much control. This is all just through one microphone, and so God knows how this is going to turn out. Okay, let's open up Patreon. And thanks to my patrons of Tone, uh, Richard P, still, Savage to end all savages. And um, we also have some new guys. We have uh, Billy B and Jasper A. I reviewed a, a favorite band of uh, Jasper's and uh, it was, who did he ask me to do? He asked me to do Tosca. So I have some history with Tosca. There's a reason why I wear a Black Peaks t-shirt now and then. So uh, if you are interested in what I think of certain bands, there is a tier for you. I think it's a $3 tier. So yeah. These are the boys. These are the uh, patrons of Tone, and um, we've gone up. I don't have my thing here. I think it's we're on forty six now, and the race is to a hundred, so that I will cut my strings. So I do this for a half hour. Yeah. So if we want this to start. Become a patron of town. It's not a gimmick at all. It's actually honest. I honestly do not care. I've also got a slight theory based on reverb of there's something that I always find there is these weird overtones when you have long strings. Obviously, I'm not mic'd up with the guitar in the room, but uh, to mic up a speaker, there's something, man. There's something, there's a bit more chaos when you have these flapping around. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it helps or messes up resonance. I don't know. Might be a placebo. Look at this guitar. Ah, it's for sale, by the way. I got to uh, start selling some stuff to keep the lights on. 
old Japanese Electra, a good type. All right, guys. So this was like, again, uh, th these videos are going to be a bit rough for a while. I did actually set up a microphone for this. You can see this is something I've been working on. Um, I guess we got to name it. So if you can find a, a good name for my uh, rack of, don't call it Rack of Doom, because uh, that gets on my nerves, my rack of inclusivity, that could be one. <laughs> All right, chaps, please subscribe. Blah, 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 blah. You know, you know, fucking whatever. Yeah, and coming up in the nearish future, we have Creep. Judging. Judging. And I'm a creep. I've got that pedal that was used on that. And also some other information on that song as well. Very, very weird way to start your career with that song. Because it's the first thing that, you know, first single I think they ever recorded. So... Yeah, it's a way to uh, hit a jackpot, right? So yeah, we got Creep coming up, and after that is going to be Fuck YouTube Month, which is going to be lots of updates on why YouTube is killing music, killing art, and it's for the bidding of lobbyists and donors. Fun, right? I have to just get it off my chest. <laughs> All right, chaps, you've been awesome. And uh, there's been good response to my videos recently. You know, so like I say, the people that watch my channel, they're loyal and they, they stick with me, even though the algorithm isn't sharing my, you know, my channel that often, but it's good to know that uh, this channel is doing something right. So I've been Owen, Circular Tone. Oh yeah, if you want to buy this guitar, the link is in description. If you use my code, I do get a kickback from it. See you next time, Circular Tone. Subscribe! <laughs>